Hello Internet, my name is Lave and I watched The House with a Clock in Its Walls, which is based on a 1973 book of the same name written by John Belairs. This one is directed by Eli Roth, who's traditionally more known for making grindhouse exploitation movies. And I didn't know he was directing this going in, so when his name popped up on the screen I was like, Oh, what are we in for then? This one follows a kid called Harry Potter, I mean Lewis, who is orphaned and goes to live with his uncle Jonathan, who he discovers is a boy witch or a warlock living in a magical old house which harbours a secret. So he begins to learn the tricks of the trade and together they try and uncover what it is. As I mentioned, this film is based on a book which actually did precede J.K. Rowling's books, but stylistically this film is heavily borrowing from the Harry Potter movies. You just have to look at the titles from the adverts. And with Fantastic Beasts 2 shortly coming out and Disney also getting in on the act, there's a lot of competition out there. I put the Goosebumps 2 one in there because Jack Black was in the first Goosebumps and actually in terms of quality of entertainment, I put this on a par with the first Goosebumps. It's got the same level of scares which might be a little bit too much for the really, really little kids but it's got just about enough for the slightly older ones to enjoy with some decent tense haunted house moments. And Jack Black brings his usual charisma in a typical but good performance. I like the fact that he's not an accomplished warlock himself and he does have great banter with his neighbour and fellow witch Mrs Zimmerman played by Kate Blanchett. She's also very good. They're friends but they like to have digs at each other. I liked that relationship a lot. From the trailers I thought Kate Blanchett's accent was going to annoy me a little bit. She's like oh you're Lewis, I presume, but as the film progresses and you find out more about her character, I actually really grew to like her. She's a sweet character. The kid actors are okay. They're not on the same level as the Stranger Things kids or the kids from It, but they're okay, especially the main character played by Owen Vaccaro, I think his name is. He does scream like a bit of a girl. He's got a set of lungs on him. He's like... <laughs> But he handles the emotional side of the character pretty well. After all, he's been orphaned and he's missing his parents and he's lonely. So he can be completely fine one minute and then the next second he's like bawling his eyes out. Like, <laughs> the film itself, I wouldn't say it has bad pacing issues, but I do think it is a bit unbalanced as it's trying to introduce us to a host of characters and their backstories and then the mystery of the house itself. So it relies on a lot of flashbacks and on top of that, characters explaining to other characters is what's what but then kids aren't going to be looking for that and when it does get a little bit boring there's plenty of fart jokes and toilet humor to keep the film ticking over the production design is good too the 50s setting reminded me a little bit of the shape of water and there's a nice blend of practical and cg creatures and animals and all sorts of things in there that are good but again have that harry potter influence to them you can sense behind the camera eli roth is kind of holding himself back he's trying to find that balance between making it scary enough for kids but not too scary for them and there's also this sequence with a, a digital baby which I don't want to spoil but a joke as well where I was like did they just crush a couple of babies like what so that's my thoughts on the house with the clock in its walls and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now i'm clearly not the target audience for this film but for what it is i thought it was okay but even then i do think that most kids going to see this are just going to consider it as a warm-up to what they really want to see which is fantastic beast 2 so thanks very much for watching this review i really do appreciate it if you can give this video a like and don't forget to share the lave <laughs>